choice of entity after tax cash flow problem two. Pineapple, an individual, expects his U.S.-based C corporation to generate profit of $200,000. What is Pineapple's after-tax cash flow from the corporation if net income after corporate tax is distributed to him as a dividend? Assume Pineapple's marginal tax rate on ordinary income is 37%, Pineapple's qualified dividend rate is 20%, and the corporate tax rate is 21%. This is a very important problem. We're told that we have a C corporation, Pineapple owns, and there's profit generated of $200,000, and it's just asking for the after-tax cash flow that Pineapple is going to have after considering a, um, a first-level tax at the entity level and a second-level tax if the net income after corporate tax received is distributed to Pineapple as a dividend, as a dividend. And we're told the tax rate is 37% for pineapple. Pineapple is subject to a 20% preferential rate on the dividends because pineapple meets certain criteria and the corporate tax rate is 21%. So this is all just a, again, it's a C corporation. This is just going through double taxation and showing you that a C corporation is subject to two levels of tax. The first level is at the entity level and the second level, I'll put down here, the second level of tax is at the owner, the shareholder level on distribution. So let's go ahead and calculate the first level of tax. The first level of tax, we have $200,000 of profit generated. That's this right here. We're going to multiply that by the corporate tax rate of 21%, of 21%. So that's going to give us a tax amount, 200,000 times 21%, that's going to be $42,000 of tax paid by the corporation, of corporate tax. So on the Form 1120, the corporation is paying $42,000 of corporate tax. Now, you could calculate the after-tax, after-tax amount, or after-tax after net income, you could just subtract away. We could take the 200000 that we start with minus the $42,000. Or you can take 200000 and you can multiply it by 79% or 0.79. Either way, I mean, it, you're getting the same calculation. You're doing the same calculation. So 200000 minus 42000 is going to be $158,000. $158,000. So $158,000 gets distributed to the owner, Pineapple. Okay, so owner gets $158,000. We just calculated that as a dividend. Now, we're told in the problem that a special dividend rate applies to pineapple. So we need to go ahead and we need to take $158,000, the dividend, and we're going to multiply that by 20%, and that's going to give us our tax amount on this respective dividend, and that's going to equal $31,000. $600. Now, the question is asking for the after-tax cash flow that Pineapple is going to get after both levels of tax. So we can do this one of two ways. We can take the $158,000 uh, dividend and subtract away the second level of tax, $31,600. And what you're going to get is you're going to get $126,400. So that is the answer. That is the answer. $126,400 is the after-tax amount by pineapple, by pineapple that pineapple gets. Another way to calculate this is just taking $158,000 and multiplying that by 0 0.80 or 80% because we have to pay tax of 20%, the preferential rate. So multiplying that by 80%, you're going to get $126,000. $400. So this was our preferential rate, this 20%. And again, you have to be told that a preferential rate applies. If you're not told, I mean, you can see what the preferential rates are and look at the tax rates, but usually it depends on the year. It depends on how much. It depends on what tax bracket they're in. I, because I don't give you information, I have to tell you pineapple's qualified rate is 20%. So that's all this question is. It's just going through and showing you calculating tax at the first level, the entity level, and then that amount gets distributed to the second level and gets distributed, and then we have to calculate that. Now, you might be asked, what is the total amount of tax paid in this situation? Well, it's going to be the $42,000 of corporate tax plus the $31,600 of um, 
individual tax paid on the dividend. So if we add those two numbers together, that's going to equal $73,600. So $73,600, if we divide that by the $200,000 amount, it looks like we're going to get over 30%. This is greater than 35%. This is more than 35%. So this means that the effective rate on this dividend, or on this, I should say, this $200,000 of earnings is more than 35%. More than 35%. Now, if we put this in an S corporation, if we put this in an S corporation, look at the marginal rate. Ordinary income is 37%. So let's just calculate this specifically. I want to calculate the exact amount. So if we take 73,000, 73,600, we divide that by $200,000, we get 36.8%. 36.8%. Versus if we were to put this in a um, S corporation or partnership and we had $200,000 of profit and it's all considered ordinary income and pineapples in the 37% bracket, it would be actually taxed at a higher amount. So see that? See that? Now, one thing to note is that the character of items flows through to the respective owner pineapple. So if there's things that are not ordinary income that are subject to this 20% rate, it would be a lot less than that. And there's other things to consider, like the qualified business income deduction that could lower pineapple's taxes if you're an S corporation or, or a partnership LLC, which that depends on the year as well. And there's other things as well that there's benefits of being an S corporation, like you get the benefit of losses. So this just shows you that even being a C corporation, if the rate's low enough, now if we increase this 21% corporate tax rate up, then it's going to be more than 37%. It's going to be more than 37%. Another thing is this is just on distribution. You also have to think about the effects on liquidation. When we liquidate the corporation, there's going to be additional taxes that Pineapple is going to have to incur beyond what an S corporation or an LLC tax as a partnership would incur in the situation. So you have to keep all that in mind and keep all that when you, when you deal with choice of entity. So the answer to this question is the after-tax cash flow is $126,400. That's the after-tax amount that Pineapple walks away with. We also calculated the amount of cash that's total paid on the $200,000. It's the $42,000 plus the $31,600 um, at the corporate tax level and at the individual shareholder level. That equals $73,600 total tax paid.